This is the first children's story I've written. While I wrote all the text, I used our own drawing demo to generate all the illustrations. Let's read a story. It's a short story called The Little Red Boat. The little red boat woke up near the shore one day. Where are all his friends? He couldn't say. He decided to set sail to the open sea to find out where everyone could be. Where should I go first? The little red boat pondered as he scouted the foggy horizon in wonder. The fog started to clear and a distant mountain appeared. There I should go, the little boat cheered. In the vast open sea, the little red boat started to feel lonely and even sad to some degree. What if I don't find the other boats? What will then be? Swimming just below the little red boat, a curious yellow fish thought to herself, what is that big red thing that does not stop to float? And without his knowing, she continued to observe in remote. Suddenly, the sky became dark, and a storm appeared with dazzling lightning and a thunder so loud, the little boat teared. As the storm stirred up the water, an enormous wave headed towards the little boat, flipping him over. After an hour, the storm settled down. The little boat woke up and found himself stuck between two rocks, one of which was shaped like a crown. The little boat could not move. Sadly, he thought to himself, this situation could not improve. Just then, he heard a voice from below. Don't worry, big boat. We will free you and it won't be slow. It was the yellow fish he had not known. She came to help and she was not alone. With the yellow fish came all her friends. Together they freed the little boat, bringing his hardship to an end. The little red boat now knew. Although he was on his own, he was never alone. Thank you all, the little boat cried. And with that he continued sailing towards the mountainside. To the great mountain the little boat arrived. It was sunset and dark, yet a beautiful sight which until now had been deprived. All his friends, the whole fleet, with all their beautiful colors, were waiting just for him to meet. The end. A bit about a process. Each time I completed writing a page, I'd go through our demo. I would think of how do I see the scene in mind, sketch it, write a text sentence describing the image, and generate. Each time, I generate a realistic image and a painting by simply adding the prompt, a painting of, to the text input. I usually get pretty good results fast, but I could run it a few times to get something closer to what I had in mind. Considering this method over text to image generation with no sketch conditioning, four main advantages come to mind. One, the sketches provide help in following the concept and directions the author has in mind. Two, more consistency can be maintained with the illustrations throughout the story. Three, the different segmentation categories can provide additional ideas for the story, helping with the creative process of writing. And four, several flavors can be created using the same sketches, but altering the text prompt. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.